Welcome back everyone. This is a channel where I share my travel tips. I also highlight some of the mishaps that I faced during my travels so that you can avoid them. This channel is all about experiencing new places and meeting new people without breaking the bank. Today we are headed to the windy city of Chicago. I'm so excited to take you guys on a tour of this amazing city. Chicago is known for its deep dish pizza, hot dogs and towering skyscrapers. But there's so much more to explore. So let's get started. If you're flying into Chicago, you're probably flying into O'Hare International or Midway Airport. O'Hare is located approximately 17 miles northwest, while Midway is located approximately 12 miles southwest of the Loop Business District. The Loop is the main section of the Chicago downtown area. It is a vibrant area and home to iconic Chicago attractions, including historic architecture, Millennium Park, and the Chicago Riverwalk, as well as a theater district and some of the most incredible restaurants. Chicago has one of the largest public transportation systems. It has reliable bus and rail systems. You can also walk or rent bikes if you do not want to use this public means of transportation. However, biking may not be the best mode of transportation during the January winter. Parking can be a pain and extremely expensive in Chicago. If you're driving into the city, I advise you park at your hotel and use other modes of transportation for the rest of your stay. The first stop is the Millennium Park, which is located right in the heart of downtown. It's a beautiful park with lots of green space, a state-of-the-art concert venue, and stunning sculptures including the famous Cloud Gate, also known as the Bean. The Bean is a massy attraction in Chicago, and it's the perfect spot for a selfie and a great backdrop for a fun photo op. Another tourist destination is the Navy Pier, which is located on Lake Michigan. Navy Pier is an entertainment hub with plenty of restaurants, shops, and even a ferry's wheel. You can catch some amazing views of the city skyline from here and it's a great place to spend an afternoon. If you're lucky during the summer, you'll catch a salsa session going on and you can dance the evening away with fellow tourists. If you're into architecture, you'll definitely want to take a boat tour down the Chicago River. Chicago is famous for its architecture and one of the best ways to see it is on an architecture boat tour. You'll get an up-close look at some of the city's most famous buildings like the Willis Tower and the Tribune Tower and the inspiration behind the choice of architecture for each of these buildings. The Windy City is an ideal destination for art lovers. The Art Institute of Chicago is one of the oldest and the largest art museums in the country, with an impressive collection of paintings, sculptures and artifacts from all over the world, including works by Warhol, Monet, Picasso and Van Gogh. I mean, where else can you see masterpieces by this great artist all under one roof? You can also visit the Field Museum. This is a natural history museum that features exhibits on dinosaurs, ancient cultures, and biodiversity. It's a good place to learn about the natural world and its history. Another great museum to check out is the Museum of Science and Industry. It's one of the largest science museums in the world. It has exhibits on everything from space explorations to genetics to transportation. If you have a knack for cultural events, you may want to visit the Chicago Cultural Center. This stunning building hosts a wide range of free cultural events, from concerts and film screenings to art exhibitions. Now, let's talk about the food scene. Chicago is known for its deep dish pizza, and you gotta try it. This iconic dish features a thick crust, plenty of cheese, and a generous amount of toppings. Some of the best places to try the dip dish pizza include Pequod's Place, Lo Malnari's, and Giordano's. And don't forget about the hot dog. You can't leave Chicago without trying one of their famous Chicago-style hot dogs, loaded up with colorful, spicy, and juicy toppings. Also, do not limit yourself to downtown Chicago. You can have a great experience if you venture into some of Chicago's neighborhoods and try out some of their most delicious ethnic food. Some of the neighborhoods include Greektown, Pilsen, Chinatown, Little Italy, and Ukrainian Village, just to mention a few. No visit to Chicago would be complete without a trip to the top of the Willis Tower. Formerly known as the CS Tower, Willis Tower is the 12th largest building in the world. 
It is the second tallest building in North America and in the Western Hemisphere, standing at 1,450 feet and 110 stories tall. The observation deck is on the 103rd floor and going up is an exhilarating experience. It is home to the highest public viewing area in the United States. The views from the sky deck are absolutely breathtaking. Chicago may not come to mind when you think of a beach vacation. It may not be Florida, however, you cannot underplay the fact that it's a home to miles and miles of sandy shoreline where you can swim, bike, kayak, boat, jet ski, paddleboard, and sip cocktails on the waterfront. One of Chicago's most visited beaches is North Avenue Beach, which is known for its spacious sands, cool beachfront bars, and convenient location to some of the top attractions. If you want to escape the city life, you can drive east for less than an hour to the Indiana Sand Dunes National Park to hike or just explore the exclusive beaches around there. Chicago is a bustling city with a lot to see. If you have more time, you can also catch a Cubs game at Wrigley Field or head over to the United Center to see the Bulls. You can also explore the Magnificent Mile, which is a shopping district that stretches along Michigan Avenue in the downtown area. This upscale shopping district is home to designer stores, luxury boutiques, and high-end department stores. It's an amazing place if you love just walking around, window shopping, or even getting some nice things for yourself. You can walk along the Lakefront Trail, which is a scenic 18-mile path that runs along the shores of Lake Michigan. It's a great place to walk, jog, or bike, and offers stunning views of the city skyline. Well, that's it for our tour of Chicago. I hope you enjoyed coming along with me and learned a little bit about this amazing city. Don't forget to carry a heavy jacket if you're visiting during the winter. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Let's keep exploring.